Dear colleagues, this is uh, another intumescent cataract done in uh, subconscious anesthesia. Notice the very shallow anterior chamber and uh, the fact that the iris is not very, very well dilated. I'm um, trying to put uh, viscose here, fill up the anterior chamber with viscose and trying to pressure that uh, anterior capsule a little bit in order to do the capsular axis without having an Argentinian flag. Here the rexis is trying to run towards the periphery a little bit but um, I'm able to bring it back to the center and uh, end up with uh, continuous uh, capsular axis. The intralenticular pressure is very high and I'm trying to decrease that by aspirating as much as possible the cortex on top of the nucleus. And then um, I will do a multiple split chop, uh, trying to make a little, a little bit of a trench uh, large enough to be able to bury the faculty right in the middle of nucleus and then uh, I do a couple of uh, chops and uh, have this uh, leathery nucleus separated into a couple of pieces. Uh, notice the bevel uh, of this faculty that I keep um, the bevel down um, in order to have a clear cornea the next day in these leathery cases, leathery nucleus and uh, hard uh, into mess and cataracts, um, I keep the bevel down and I'm trying to do the faculty emulsification uh, inside the bag as much as possible. Uh, you have to be real careful with the foot pedal in this case, uh, otherwise uh, uh, renting the posterior capsule is uh, very easy to get with uh, the FACO tip facing down with the tip of the, the FACO facing down. I'm, um, I'm gonna stop uh, here for a second and uh, fill out the anterior chamber with some vesicular elastic and uh, I will change the, the chopper also uh, and get a blunt one because this one is very sharp. Um, the one of the cortex are uh, the epinucleus pieces is getting stuck to the cornea because of that vasculastic but uh, it's very easy to get aspirated and uh, clean up the bag real well and um, I'll place an NC maintainer and uh, get the remnants of that uh, cortex out of the eye and then injecting of eye well uh, on the own viscoelastic elastic uh, bag and all that and dial the eye well in the right place and at the end I will uh, place some myocold to construct the pupil a little bit and um, no longer hydrate the incision but I'm uh, using a, a tip to is the cornea back uh, into the place and uh, that's the end of the case thank you for your attention i hope this will help you in your practice